Okay, guys. Um, I know it's not Monday, and I said um, the quotes would only go up on Monday, but I'm I feel compelled in my spirit to put this um, passage up uh, before Monday today. Um, I should say before I go any further, this passage is kind of a mature subject matter, so if you have any children in the room, I would recommend you get them out. I'll wait, I'll wait a second until the so that you can get the kitties out of the room. Okay, um, th this passage and this subject matter is very close to my heart. Anybody who re who has read my la last two novels um, um, knows that the subject of sex and sexual intimacy is very close to my heart. And and a proper understanding of it in the context of marriage is very close to my heart. Uh, so, um, before I read this quote, um, I should say that um, writing Christian novels, let me put it this way, Christian novels generally just either uh, skip over any mention of sex at all in marriage, um, or secular novels have too much of it. It's like you're reading and you're reading it for pages and pages and it, it just is so descriptive that it just makes you like, oh, <laughs> it just is like this is too much. And what I think the devil is doing in regards to singles and sex is he's shutting the church up with something God has created and make like and he's making the secular world talk about it so much that it's in your face. So basically I wanted um, to show in this scene. Now, I'm not going to read the actual scene. You're going to have to read the book for that. But, um, the passage I will read is when, like, um, the purpose of me putting even a scene in there is to, um, show people that it's worth the wait. And like often when, when Christians or, or relationship topics come up and the topic of sex come up, we talk about waiting and marriage and strategies to um, help the wait. But what, what God has been really doing with me, because that's been a struggle for me. Um, like, uh, not sexual purity, but just, Lord, I'm 30, is this, go I'm over 30, is this going to be worth it? And, and he, how he's been dealing with it with me is, he, instead of saying, no, 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 you can't do this, you can't do that, he's been ministering to me how wonderful it would be, it will be when I do find my husband, when I do find uh, the right man and when I do marry him and when I am in covenant and he's showing me all this wonderful stuff and I think the church has got it wrong like we we have shut down about the topic of sexual intimacy except when it comes to waiting until marriage which I think is an important to talk about in Christendom but I also think it's important to discuss um, how great it is when you do wait, when you are in covenant. And I think that's what I wanted to accomplish 
with this scene. As I said, I'm not going to read the actual scene. You're going to have to read the book, but I will read um, the, the thought process after, um, before it. So, back to the characters in The Soldier and The, and the Stripper. Um, when it comes to sex, um, Florence um, has only had one pap part, has only, has only slept with one guy, and that one guy is, was totally, it was really not satisfying for her. So, and Clayton, although he loved the girl, the one girl that he slept with, um, it wasn't really satisfying for him. So when they got married, um, be, before they got married, they talked about their sexual history together. And just as they were getting to know each other, um, and then, he, like, so he knows her sexual history, that it was kind of not satisfying with her the first time. And, he, and then she knows his sexual history. So they're both afraid because of their lack of experience with sex um, before they got married. So they're both afraid of um, not being satisfied to each other and they're both, they're both kind of apprehensive. Um, and so on their wedding night, they decide not to have sex because they're, they're both afraid and they're both like a bit like scared of leaving the other person unfulfilled. And so the next day after their wedding night, Clayton decides to go for a run. And here's how he's thinking on his run. And this is where that, this passage um, comes in. Forgive me this pa Forgive me, this passage is a little long because it's just, um, but it's all important for, for me to read it all. So g give me a second. So this is this is after their wedding night. Clayton is out for a run and trying to figure out what they're going to do about this situation. Um, about both being afraid and apprehensive of having sex with each other. Okay. Um, it says this. While I was moving, my mind began to untangle and sort out last night's dilemma. I love Florence and she loves me, but we were both afraid of sex and nervous about leaving each other dissatisfied because of our lack of experience. And at the same time, we didn't want the other person to feel rejected or like they weren't enough. It occurred to me that it wasn't about wanting or not wanting to have sex, but it was about fear. Fear of rejection, fear of lack of experience, fear of our insecurities and inadequacies. What 
what if we took it slow and made it into a fun game while learning about each other physically? As soon as the thought occurred to me, the plan started to form in my mind, step by step by step. Okay, so that's the quote. And I really wanted, like I, to be transparent here, I've struggled with reading um, those what they call romance novels and are really glorified, um, I don't know what to call them. But I didn't want this novel to be about that, like, all perfect and everything's all perfect and whatever. I wanted them to have drama in this department and in other departments. And I wanted to make it realistic because I, I think um, what, what the church is lacking in this area and many other areas is honesty we're afraid to be honest about things and i think i really wanted the soldier and the stripper to be honest about like when when a man and a woman come together they have issues they have things they have to work through they have they have trials they have tribulations they have bills, they have work, they have school, so they have work, they have, they have other things they have to do. You know, when you get married, it's not just all about sex all the time. Any married person, I've spoken to many married people, um, although I'm not married myself yet, um, and they've said marriage is so much more than sex all the time. So I wanted to um, bring some realism into it. And you'll notice when you read the book um, that while struggling with this pro problem, uh, Clayton is struggling with not only his PTSD, but um, trying to find a job. And Florence is str struggling herself too with her issues aside from this and I just wanted to make it as real as possible and I just hope I did that um so take care you guys um have a great have a great Thursday bye be blessed